The Number Instruments command has a greater flexibility from the original. You can more easily number items such as LEDs, which can have power passed from light to light. To number the instruments, first select all the instruments you want to number. Once you have them selected, go to Spotlight, Number Instruments. In the Number Instruments dialog, you'll see multiple columns where we can control how the instruments are numbered. The first column lets you specify what field of the lighting device is going to be changed. In this example, we want to number the channel, dimmer, circuit name, and circuit number. We can choose to give a prefix or suffix for each field when the instruments are numbered. The Start column will start the numbering at the specified value for each field. You can enter a number or letter here. Let's start the channel number at 101 for these devices and put the dimmer in universe A by typing A for the prefix. We'll start the dimmer at 1 and increment by 4. This means that each numbered instrument will increase the dimmer number by 4. For circuit name, we'll enter MLA for the start value for our moving lights. Let's check the box for static so that this field stays the same for each instrument that we number. We can start the circuit at number 1. In this example, we don't want the circuit number to go past 5, so we can use the limit field and enter 5. This field sets the stopping point for the numbering. After the limit's been reached, the Number Instruments dialog will open again. We know that we can only put 8 of these devices on one circuit, so we'll enter 8 in the Number of Units per Box field. This will number up to 8 before it goes to the next circuit. We can also choose the direction of the numbering with the primary and secondary direction options. This secondary sort direction is included in order to resolve conflicts, especially ones created by the tolerance. It's not the direction to move next after the primary direction. In this example, we just want a number from left to right without a secondary direction. Let's click OK to see how the instruments were numbered. We can see how the circuits were numbered and after the eighth device, a new circuit number was started. Now we can go ahead and number the other instruments in the circle truss below. Select the devices and go back to Spotlight, Number Instruments. Let's put these on Universe B and start at 1. Start the channel at 201. We can check Use Number of Channels here instead of specifying a constant increment value so that the increment can be based on the number of channels assigned to the instrument. We'll change the circuit name to MLB. We'll start the circuit number at 1 and remove the number of units per. For the direction, we'll choose clockwise, since these devices are on the circular piece of truss. We'll also choose outside to inside for the secondary direction, so that the outside devices are numbered first, and the devices on the inside of the truss will be numbered second. Click OK to close the dialog. You'll see your cursor change to a crosshair icon. This will allow you to click on the first device to start the numbering on. We're prompted with the dialog because we set the limit to 5 and are numbering more than 5 units, saying that one of the devices is out of range for the circuit number. Once we click OK, it will bring us back to the original dialog. We can now change the circuit name to MLC to start a new circuit. We'll also want to change the circuit number start value back to 1. Click OK again, and you can see that the devices were numbered properly.